Hi, I'm Srinidhi from Decibel Lab, currently working as EV R&D engineer. So today we're going to look on battery management system, parameter setting in the BMS software application. So currently we are looking at the JVD tools software application for uh, today's example. Well, if you see that software interface is mainly divided into four windows, uh, back information, settings, and uh, calibration, other functionalities. So how do we start the application is basically after you connect your BMS uh, communication port, you click on the com, press OK. Then as soon as you start, on the bottom left hand corner here exactly, you can see read data success, right? The ones it indicates this, the BMS has been uh, connected successfully. So in order to check which app, uh, a BMS model are you, have you connected to the uh, systems, here you can see the PCB version where it will clearly state that, for example, currently I have connected 13 is 60 amps BMS. So the code or the model number will be showcased here. So mainly the screen is divided into four part, back information, setting, calibration, and other functionalities. So first on the screen, what do you see is back information, where you can see for all the series, voltage ratings will be indicated. And that is uh, from starting from series one to 13, as you can see the voltage is slightly varying currently. So on the uh, beside you have balance. So any time a cell balancing or rather I would say series balancing takes place, there will be an indication of on in this particular column, right? Then you have uh, two temperature uh, uh, measuring currently uh, with the battery back which I've connected. So one is on board, which you can see and another one is connected inside the battery pack, right? Then uh, on the right hand side column where you can see the back overall voltage, back current, currently it's zero uh, because neither I'm charging or discharging. Whenever we charge, uh, it will be in positive and whenever we discharge, it will be negative, right? Then you have average series voltage, then max voltage, minimum voltage, difference uh, between each series voltage, then you have cycle count. So what is basically a cycle count is one complete discharge and charge is known as cycle count of a battery pack. So the number of uh, cycles uh, count, basically a discharge and charge has been, uh, will be counted in this particular region and that will be showcased here. Then you have full charge capacity. Basically this is a, a 13S, um, 3P, uh, uh, version so i have a 10 ah battery pack connected and it will also show you the remaining capacity uh, in terms of uh, meh and also on the right hand side in terms of percentage this is called basically remaining soc state of charge right then you have two mosfet indication one is charge and one is discharge basically uh, is it's in green color which shows the mosfet is in on state any malfunction happens, basically uh, any malfunction such as a cell over voltage protection or a pack over voltage protection, the MOSFET will turn into gray, uh, which indicates the MOSFET is cut off in order to protect the battery pack. Similarly, uh, uh, it is applied to the discharge, right? And this window, particular window is called as warning window. So any parameter has a uh, cross the boundary condition, for example, cell over voltage protection, under voltage protection, and many more, you will have a warning symbol on this window, right? The next uh, window is settings part, where you have all the basic parameters here. So these basic parameters indicate um, cell over voltage protection, cell under voltage protection, and uh, pack over voltage, and there are a lot of other parameters. We will look into into that uh, as we move on further. Then you have a release value. Basically, the left hand side first uh, column value will be your boundary condition. For example, four volt system max. That is where where you set here the four volt. And the release value is that when the BMS detects certain value, 
the BMS should reactivate. Basically, the MOSFET should turn on. So that particular value is known as release value. And then you have delay seconds. Basically, this delay seconds are given to, it takes time, uh, the BMS basically takes time in this delay seconds. Uh, it states in rest. For example, if I give 10 seconds as a rest, my cell old, uh, over voltage production has been on. So after 10 seconds of gap, the battery pack will again recheck the complete overall conditions. If on is okay, then it's reactivated, right? So on here you have read uh, EEPROM and write save open. So what happens is any parameters you change here, basically you can uh, uh, write it. After writing, it will be uh, loaded in the BMS. I have to save it. Then you can also keep a lot of multiple programs. So when you, whenever you want to run those, you can uh, open it and basically and start read. So we'll go in depth on, uh, into each particular functionalities which you're seeing here. Yes, so the parameter setting, right? So here we can see the parameter setting. So I'll just go one by one. Uh, what are the short forms? So CVO will be stand for cell over voltage protection. Basically yeah, any cell uh, above the limits of the, uh, the voltage, the protection will start. Under voltage protection you have similarly, then you have charge over, old, uh, charge over temperature protection, charge under temperature uh, protection. You have discharge over temperature protection and discharge under temperature protection. Then you have charge over current protection and discharge over current protection. These are the basic parameters uh, which will help the overall battery pack to uh, be in a safer mode. So these parameters can be changed. Again, the question is, how do we change? On what basis? So basically, any cell manufacturer will, would give you a cell data sheet, which will look like, uh, yeah, this. This is an example of cell data sheet. Basically, on the cell data sheet, you can see the rated capacity, that's uh, nominal capacity, the nominal voltage, charge voltage, discharge cutoff voltage, energy density, max charge current, max discharge current. So all these parameters are given here. So for example, charge voltage is maximum is 4.2 volts. So when we come back on the basic parameter setting, so our CVOPP value will be 4.2, right? 4.2 or 4.25, depending on the cell uh, data which has been provided by the manufacturer. So basically your release value will, will be lesser than the boundary condition, right? Also the under voltage, the max cutoff uh, under voltage will be 2.4 volts. So like that, each parameter will be provided in the cell data sheet. So anything has to be changed according to the cell data sheet. We can change anything between the range given by the cell data sheet, right? So also the software has a function to save data. I'll just show you. So basically any, uh, uh, once we start click on the start basically your data gets uh, it start recording in order to save the data just click on the save data and uh, give a name and save it and wherever you want in whichever folder after saving uh, this is the basically uh, the excel sheet which you will be uh, finding so this uh, excel sheet will contain the date time for example uh, the frequency of uh, the saving the data is basically one data per second this is the frequency of the particular BMS which I'm using currently. So you will have time, pack voltage, current, uh, if it is in discharge or charge, cell, here cell replicates um, series. So series 1 to 13, what are the voltage, average voltage, max, uh, maximum minimum voltage, remaining SOC, remaining capacity, max charge capacity, then cycle counts. Also, it will record any, uh, what do you say, parameter, uh, or malfunction has happened that will be recorded here uh, so for example the charge uh, MOSFET or the discharge motor MOSFET is whenever it's off you could see that here basically the balance status and also the protection status then you have uh, these were the basic uh, parameters so you also have a high protection configuration basically uh, this is your extreme limit for example if the BMS uh, parameters which you have given, if it passes over, so there is a second layer of protection where you give the discharge and the delay and high um, send over on touch production. 
So this is the most extreme values where we present. Then you have functionality configuration where basically you can uh, select you only you want only the balance when it's in static, or do you want the balance to be also in charge while charging? Then number of NTC uh, that's uh, thermal, basically temperature sensor. You give the balance configuration also at what particular voltage it should start and what should be the precision. Then this is the configuration regarding the um, BMS which you have connected. And on the right hand side you have cell, uh, uh, I mean overall pack capacity configuration where uh, by giving this uh, where it will also calculate the another terminology called state of health. Basically you, if you observe in your uh, uh, laptop or phone battery bags when they are in new you get a long uh, duration of overall charge um, but as it goes on with uh, age, aging it will deplete. Basically, uh, if you're getting three uh, three hours of backup before, you, it would be reduced up to two hours or two point five. So, in order, your BMS has to indicate you the uh, right remaining SOC or right. Uh, basically, if you talk in, uh, talk in terms of, uh, for example, as a electric vehicle, it should indicate you the what is the max range I can go currently. So, in, in order to indicate the true value. It has to uh, uh, consider the state of health of the battery, prolong the usage of the year, right? So when you come to the calibration part, this is where basically uh, when you have a prior knowledge, the particular series has a certain uh, voltage uh, uh, difference and it has to be ca calibrated. We just uh, click on the particular value after you measure the particular series uh, uh, calibration value and click on the calibration voltage. And when we come to the other function, uh, this is more of advanced level where we can uh, do a lot of coding part. This is not, uh, this is basically comes on the advanced level. So whenever you want to stop the recording, you just click on stop and it will uh, end the recording part. And also it will end the connectivity between your battery pack and the software. So thank you for watching the video. If any queries, please do visit Decibels Lab.